I'm Hai Zhongzhen, a master's student from Shanghai Jiudong University, and I'm really honored to be here to present our work about detecting elite civil users in user review online social network. And besides me, uh, there also includes Minghui Xue Haolu, Professor Hao, Professor Zhu, Professor Liang, and Professor Rose. So we first begin with our background. With the rapid development of the internet, uh, the user review social network become an important part in our life and is an important way for us to know the information about the unknown business. For example, if I search the restaurant in San Diego, uh, Yelp will recommend the best 10 restaurants for us. And besides this, we can also read the reviews on these platforms. We can know the experience of former customers and it becomes much easier for us to find a suitable service like a restaurant, a hotel, or a cinema. However, do all reviews choose the real experience in these stores or restaurants? Actually, CBA attacks has been a threat to user review social network for a long time. Several media snacked market watch uh, Financial Times and uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Finance have reported the related news uh, about the CBA attacks in online social network. And in this work, we focus on the CBA attacks on Dianping.com, which is the largest user review social network in China. Uh, before we begin our topic, let's try to distinguish these two reviews. Which one is the fake review? Uh, through the pictures, we can find that the first reviews have more content and even some pictures of food. It is more likely that the first review is the real review. However, in fact, the answer is, uh, is that the first review is a fake review. Actually, the first review is posted by the volunteer, and all these contacts and the picture are provided by the CBI organization. And the second, the second review is uh, Posted, my, posted by one of my friends, and it is indeed a real review. So we can find that compared to some real reviews, uh, some fake reviews may have richer content and even some pictures of food. Uh, actually, in our work, we found a new type of CBO users, elite CBO users, and these fake reviews with high quality were posted by these users. Uh, elite CBO users primarily consist of two kinds of users. The first kind of user are CBO accounts, but however, these CBO accounts will post some irrelevant reviews to the CBO task, or these reviews will be out of the CBO campaigns. And the second kind of accounts are owned by the benign user. However, this, all, this benign user may participate in some CBO task and to get some uh, payments. So in the next section, I will go deeper in the elite attacks in the damping.com. So in order to understand the behavioral pattern of the CBO user, we performed a three month long investigation on the CBO organization in damping.com, and we found that these CBO organizations have a four tier architecture. Uh, the first tier is a customer or overhyped stones and these stones want to boost the scores rapidly. And the second tier is the agent. Agents are responsible for accepting tasks from customers and launching campaigns. And the third tier is the leader. Leader takes changes of recruiting workers and distributing tasks to workers. And the last tier is the elite civil worker. Elite civil workers are internet users post fake reviews for profit. Uh, besides the architecture of CBI organization, we also found that they have a typical workflow. Uh, between leaders and CBI workers, there are two types of workflows to post fake reviews. And the main difference between these two workflows is whether the content of the reviews are offered by the leaders. However, no matter which model is taken, the quality of the fake reviews is strictly controlled. So we may ask a question, why do CBI organizations put so much effort to control the quality of the reviews, and why do they use such a complicated method to post the fake reviews? 
Uh, through our investigation, we found the economic factors behind the, this behavior. Unlike the fixed payments in the core turfing platforms, the payments from the civic organizations varies with the rankings of the accounts. And the accounts with five or six star may can get uh, six dollars per post. And uh, through the investigation of the elite CPU attack, we identify several challenges to detect such attacks in user review social network. The first challenge is the weak connectivity between users. Uh, unlike uh, some other classical user net, uh, social network like, uh, uh, like Facebook and Twitter, uh, users in user review social network focus more on the reviews rather on the relations between other users. Due to these challenges, some graph-based detection approaches may not work. And the second challenge is the professional reviews. As I mentioned in previous slides, the CBL organization will guide CBL workers to post reviews with high quality, and uh, these fake reviews will be disguised with other irrelevant reviews so that they can mimic the real users. And uh, this challenge means that some behavior-based detection approaches may not work. And the second challenge, or the biggest challenge, is that uh, the eligible users are more active out of the campaigns. Uh, the fixed reviews posted by these users are usually discussed by other real reviews. The challenge will make some clustering approaches does not work. So how do we deal with these challenges? Okay, in the next section, I will introduce our detection system and how we use this, term, this system to deal with these three challenges. So here is the overview of our detection system. Our detection system is composed of three components. The first component is the CBL community detection. The purpose of this component is to detect the CBL communities, which just contains regular CBL users. And in this step, we deal with the first two challenges. So for the first challenges, instead of using the original relation between users, we build the relation between users via collusive reviews. The more collusive reviews two users have, the two users have a closer relation. And the first step also deal with the second challenge. Since the content of some fake reviews are really similar to the content of real reviews, we don't use any features related to user profile and review content. We just use features related to user, uh, related, related to community features and network or content-free user features. However, in the first, the first step cannot efficiently detect the elite CBL users. So we propose the second and the third step to solve the third challenges and detect the elite CBL users. Since the third challenge is caused by the reviews irrelevant to the CBL campaign, we use the second step to obtain the CBL campaign windows for each CBL community. And in the third step, we use the campaign a uh, CBL, uh, CBL campaign window to fill out all irrelevant reviews and uh, so that we can just focus on the fake reviews posted by the elite CBL user. So let's go deeper in how do we deal, uh, solve the first challenges. We first define the collusive reviews. Uh, if two reviews satisfy the following condition, we think they are collusive reviews and then we can calculate uh, the collusive relation by this formula. And maybe we can look at this example. Uh, in this example, uh, the right dot stands for the collusive reviews, and uh, we can find between these two users, they have five collusive reviews. So we can calculate the collusive relation or the collusive similarity is 0 0.5. So then I will choose the first part of uh, our detecting system. Uh, the first part of the detecting system includes uh, three steps. As illustrated in the first step, we build the collusive relation between users and uh, constructed the graph. And then we use the one method to detect uh, user community. And in the last step, we use machine learning tools combining with three 
kinds of futures to classify different communities. The second part of system is to detect the severe campaigns from the detected severe communities. The core idea of campaign window detection algorithm is finding and deleting sparse review intervals and the algorithm will search the sparse interval from the left side and from the right side and delete them. If there is no sparse interval, we think we get the campaign window. Uh, the last part of our system is to detect the elite civil users. Uh, in this part, for a single user, we consider the number of reviews posted for a civil community and for each community or for each civil campaign. To calculate, then we can calculate the participation rate and the civilness. At last, we use civilness to indicate the likelihood that if a user is an elite civil user. And in the third session, I will introduce our evaluation results and some measurements. Uh, we evaluate our system on a large-scale real-world dataset collected from Damping.com, and this dataset includes over 10 million reviews. And at last, our system detects 566 uh, civil community and over 12,000 elite civil users. We also found an interesting result. That is, in our dataset, over 16 uh, cinemas have recruited the civil organizations to boost the reputation for them. So here is the performance of our detection system. We tried several machine learning tools to classify the communities, and we found that the SOM have the best performance with a 96% precision. And for the performance of detecting elite civil users, we can find that the precision of detected results is larger than 90%. Then in the next part, I will show some measurements about our detection results. Uh, the finger illustrates the user level distribution of different types of users. We can find that the group of regular civil users have more low level users than the group of elite civil users. And uh, this finger shows the main part of the entire network structure of civil communities and stones. We can find that some civil communities provide servers for huge number of stones, which means this civil community may have uh, a mature process to provide services for stones. Another interesting finding is about the chain stone. Those with the same color expect for red, like green, blue, or purple are uh, chain stones. We found that some chain stones will employ the same civil, civil organization to boost the reputation, and we also found that about 12% of civil communities have posted fake reviews for chain stone. Then I will introduce some case study of our work. This is a case study about posting time of elite civil users. Uh, we can find that elite civil users won't post fake reviews in a short time period, and they will deliberately control the posting time. And this feature may make eligible user event detection system based on the posting frequency. So let's see another case study. Uh, a stone employed three civil organizations over six months. The left y axis means the number of reviews, and the right axis means the average score of this stone. Different color stands for different sources of fake reviews, we can find that each time they employ it, a uh, civil organization, there is a review spike. And this review spike also causes the increase in renting, the which means uh, the campaign does, uh, the campaigns do help this stone. The last part is the conclusion. So first, in our paper, we found a lower attack in user review social network and then we design an effective and scalable system to detect the elite civil user. And at last, we do some measurements about the elite civil user, and we found elite civil user have higher user level and will deliberately control the posting time. So thanks for listening.
Uh, Han Zhang from Salesforce. So, uh, very nice work. I have two questions. The first one is how did you build the ground truth data site? And the other is uh, what the false positives look like? Okay, so for the really good question, uh, actually uh, it is really difficult to manually check a single user if this single user is a eligible user. So we built a manual check system so that we can, we can uh, we, we can see which which civil campaigns our users has participated in and uh, which communities uh, uh, it, it have participated in so that we can manually check w whether this user is a elite civil user. Yeah, and for the other, uh, for the other question, the false positive. Yeah, since, since it's really hard to manually check all data set, all users, since we have over uh, three million users, so we don't have this data, so it's hard to provide. Okay. So uh, one small question I want to ask, which is always the issue with all the civil attack detection system, that uh, what about an attack, adaptive adversary? I mean, you showed the example from 2015, 16 onwards, but maybe if this system had been applied now by the web, this website, uh, they, the elite attackers or, or this uh, basically, your suppliers of the civil users might have changed the strategy. Yes. Right so, any thoughts about the adaptive nature of the attacks and can that be solved using your system? Uh, actually, I think yes. Uh, since our system is based on that uh, the CBI uh, the elite CBI users will post reviews in a certain CBI campaign. However, the eligible users do have approach to evaluate this, this uh, algorithm. But however, this actually is a trade-off between the uh, between between uh, between the costing and uh, the ten or the or the cost or the other cost to boost the reputation. So actually, it is uh, it is not a perfect system, but I think it it, it can. Uh, increase the threshold to perform the same attack. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. So maybe you can repeat. Okay, thank you.